Hi, Steve here at blessedhopeforever.com. First, I want to tell you who we are. We are born from above. We've received total forgiveness. We are for, forever secure. We're made righteous in Christ. There's no condemnation to those who are in Christ, and we are heaven bound. And now we have seen a remarkable presidential election occur. And I personally believe that all elections are divinely engineered. Proverbs 8.15 reminds us that uh, by me kings reign and rulers enact just laws. Daniel 2.21, uh, he changes the times and seasons. He uh, uh, removes kings and establishes them. Uh, Daniel 14. Uh, Daniel 4.17 says, The Most High rules over the kingdom of mankind and gives it to whomever He wishes, setting over it the lowliest of men. So I guess you could have to factor in both uh, political parties there. John 19.11, Jesus answered, You would have no authority over me if it were not given to you from above. Of course, we know He's talking to Pilate. Uh, Romans 13, 1, there is no power, but there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Okay, we are told in all of our ways to acknowledge Him. And He shall direct our paths. Proverbs 3, 6. Keep reading in Proverbs to the 16th chapter, Proverbs 16, 9, and you'll, you'll find a man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directs his steps. There has never been, in my opinion, a president quite like Trump in all of U.S. history. Certainly not in modern history. Tell me, why is it there was seven years from the 2017 eclipse to the 2024 eclipse, seven years Revelation 12 sign to this year, 2024, seven years, seven days from the, the time Trump was first sworn in to the second eclipse, the date of the second solar eclipse. Why seven months from Trump's first full day in office on January the 21st, 2017 to the Great American Solar Eclipse, August 21st, 2017. Many of you remember that. The first since before the nation was formed in, in 1776 to be seen exclusively in the United States. All these seven sh have shown up over the past year, several years in remarkable ways. Seven months exact from the April 8, 2024 eclipse to Trump winning yesterday or last night Second term, November 6, 5 and 6, 2024. The sevens just have kept going. In Hebrew, the word vance means God is gracious. 59 total elections held so far. After Trump, the next one will be the 60th. Year zero is not counted. Six equals man. That's interesting. Trump won all 77 counties in my state, Oklahoma, for the third time. No other state has 77 counties. And even, even if there was another state, I guess, with 77 counties, uh, it's unlikely Trump would have won in all those counties. In, all, in, in that particular county, it would have been all turned red. We, we know about the seven-year tribulation period. The number seven will not escape our notice unless we just not think like we're not using our head uh, for something except just to uh, keep our ears apart. Now, Trump was born on June 14, Flag Day, 1946, 700 days before the founding of Israel on May 14, 1948. Judah was born on 15 Savan. Donald Trump was born on 15 Savan. Judah, the name in Hebrew, uh, Judah, according to the book of Genesis. Uh, I'm talking about the fourth of the six sons of Jacob and Leah. Founder of the tribe of Judah, of the Israelites. Uh, and by extension, he's indirectly the eponym of the kingdom of Judah, 
the land of Judea and the word Jew itself. Okay, Trump and, and, and him share the same birthday. Okay, Judah means praise, exalt, thankful. Judah was the ancestor of Jesus that came through Jacob and Leah. Uh, according to classical rabbinical literature, Judah was born on 15 Savan. Donald Trump was born on the exact same day, Savan 15. Is God trying to tell us something? Well, I'm going to leave that for you to decide, but th there are a great number a remarkable number of coincidences relating to Donald Trump, Israel, and the number seven and all the arrangements of the word seven that you could probably think of, which could not, in my opinion, be human engineered. Just can't be done. Seven means perfection. We know that. It means completion. That's why our calendar and our work uh, slash rest week is seven days. Same logic with years. 6,000 years, labor, 1,000 year, kingdom, rest, 7,000 years from creation to new creation. And eight, of course, we know new means new beginning. I remind you that on Trump's first full day in office, he was 70 years, seven months, seven days old. That's not a coincidence. I also remind you that, that Trump was first elected on Netanyahu's seventh year, seventh month, and seventh full day in office. This math can be easily confirmed. On 7 7 17, Trump met with Putin for the first time face to face when Putin was exactly 777 months old to the day in the Hebrew year 5777. And I love talking about this. I really do. I don't, I don't know why, but. On, on his birthday, Putin's birthday, he's exactly 70 years old when Hamas attacked Israel October 7, 2023. On October 7, the U.S. Embassy moves from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in 2018. They kind of had a, a big part, I think, in igniting the conflict that we see that's now raging. The embassy opened at its Jerusalem location on May 14, 2018, Israel's birthday, the 70th Gregorian anniversary of the creation of the modern state of Israel. It was, uh, it was relocated uh, from its previous site in Tel Aviv by the Trump administration. I don't think any other administration would have done that, Republican or Democrat, but that's just my personal opinion. That embassy... That embassy moved May 14, 2018. This, uh, this May 14 of 2025 will mark seven years, and Israel will be 77. It was a controversial move that broke with decades of official U.S. policy, and it comes, I believe, at a particularly prophetic time for both Israel and the church, and I guess you could say the world as well, which is really why I, 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 don't, I think past U.S. presidents didn't really do it, and Trump did. 77 years from the 1947 U.N. partition of Palestine to now, to 2024. In Trump's 77th year of life, Hamas attacks Israel October 7th, 2023. Now, I can go all the way back to his impeachment I've, we've been, this channel's been following Trump and his sevens, dogging those, him and those sevens forever. Uh, impeachment trial begins on January 21st, 2020, exactly three years to the day from his first full day in office when he was 70 years, seven months, and seven days old. It's like God doesn't want us, you to miss seeing these sevens. On Trump's 700th day in office, December 20, 2018, his defense secretary, Jim Mattis, resigned on the day that Israel turned 70 years, seven months, and seven days old, December 21st, 2018. You can look these things up. You can do the math. 
You can fact check till you're blue in the face, but these numbers don't lie. On Trump's 777th day since the election on November 8, 2016, Israel announced that they would dissolve parliament and hold elections seven months early on April 9th of 2019. It's all, it seems like it's anything that has to do with any of this, you'll find these sevens. Birth, uh, Trump was born 700 days before Israel was founded. Uh, it's independence, May 14, 1948. First day in office, okay, just very first day, full day in office. He was 70 years, seven months, seven days old. Of course, Netanyahu plays a prophetic part in the end times. Uh, he certainly he must. He, he was elected on, as prime minister uh, on his seventh year, seventh month, and seventh full day uh, in office. Netanyahu was sworn in just before midnight on March 31st, 2009. His first full day in office was April 1st, 2009. That's, so you see sevens there. Uh, even with uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton, Trump beat Hillary by, uh, I'm not talking about this election, but the last one, by 77 votes in the Electoral College because, because of seven uh, faithless uh, electors. Two voted against Trump while five voted against Hillary Clinton, bringing the final, final tally to uh, uh, something like 300 to 200 votes or, or more. The eclipse, all right, exactly seven months later from his first full day in office on January 21st, 2017, a total solar eclipse occurred the first since before the United States was formed in, in 1776 to be seen exclusively in the United States. Uh, 5777 Hebrew year, all these events occurred in the Hebrew year, 5777. Uh, we can, I've looked at de, uh, the defense secretary on, uh, uh, on, on Donald Trump's 700th day in office, December 20th, 2018. His defense secretary, Jim Mattis, resigns. And, and he does so on the day that Israel turned 70 years, seven months, and seven days old. How could you not think that there's something mysterious going on here? He was uh, due, to, due to depart exactly 70 days later on February the 28th, 2019, on Donald Trump's 770th day in office, but that was brought forward uh, to January 1st, 2019. These sevens just seem to pop up all over the place if you're looking in any direction concerning end times prophecy. The Nesset on President Trump's 777th day since the election on, no, on November 8, 2016, Israel announced, announced that they would uh, dissolve parliament, hold elections seven months early. Uh, it's not always a string of sevens, like seven, double seven, triple seven, uh, 700. It's a seven seventy, the 770th day in office. Uh, Israel's attorney general announced that Netanyahu would be indicted on bri bribery and fraud charges. It's like these guys can't escape these sevens. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper sworn in as the new U.S. Secretary of Defense exactly seven months to the day that Donald Trump brought forward James Mattis's uh, departure to January the 1st, 2019. You know, I've thought, I've had months and months and months to think about all of these sevens. And uh, I'm gonna make a suggestion at the end of the video that may, uh, may make some sense to you or may not, but uh, these sevens, just won't go away. Uh, you know, it, I don't know what you thought about who would be elected, okay, here. Uh, and uh, this is not a political channel. It's, we're strictly looking at this you know, end times prophecy. But God, pre he prevented Trump from, from being assassinated on multiple occasions. Uh, obviously, 
God wants us want wants he wanted Trump back in in office. If you paid attention to the verses I read you at the beginning of the video, it's hard to argue against the fact that God sets up one and takes down another. So we know God wants him there. Uh, uh, again, I'm not going to talk politics, but we know that God has a, has, is using Trump in a mighty way. Now, I think we can derail and go off kind of track here when we start thinking, well, okay, now uh, Trump's back in there, peace and safety. When they say peace and safety, sudden to shut up. That's not talking about Trump, okay? Uh, the, the last Trump, well, he's this is his last term, I'm assuming, or anyway, uh, the last Trump, uh, maybe that has to do with, you know, he's just the rap, he's the rapture president. It's the last president or before the rapture, last Trump, some, whatever you want to say about that. Uh, that is not how the Hebrew idiom was used as a battle cry, a shofar cry in, in time of victory, which they blew the shofar, you know, uh, the, the, the last trump on the, the Feast of Trumpets, the final 100th blast of the trumpet. That's So it, it has something to do with Trump. I'm not sure about the word associations, but folks, you cannot deny these numbers. You just can't. Uh, sevens in Scripture, they're abound. The, this, gosh, I hardly even know, you know, would know where to begin with that. Jerusalem is uh, instructably... Uh, applied to the number 70 in the Bible. So it's it's interesting that the Trump administration decides to open the embassy in Jerusalem on the 70th anniversary of Israel's founding in 48, 1948. 70 appears all throughout the Bible. The word seven is a divine, sacred number. Uh, they actually give courses on biblical numerology in Bible colleges today. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. That's Daniel chapter 9. Okay, Daniel chapter 9. Uh, Jewish people held in captivity by the king of Babylon for 70 years. Uh, you know, we, we see the same thing with the number 40, with another, uh, other groups of numbers, but sevens just are really just jumping out at this time. The word came to Jeremiah, the prophet, that he had accomplished 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. We know that the, about the temple destruction, 70 A.D., 70 A.D., Jerusalem and the Second Temple destroyed by the Romans to put down a Jewish uh, revolt against Roman rule. So the number of remarkable sevens related to Donald J. Trump are related to uh, what I've seen in the, are the following areas. His birth, uh, day one of his presidency, Benjamin Netanyahu, the solar eclipses, the Hebrew year 5777, uh, Vladimir Putin a lot uh, is, is mixed into that. Israel's independence, uh, birth date, uh, the U.S. Secretary of Defense's plural, the Knesset, the Jewish parliament, uh, let's see, the uh, impeachment of Donald Trump. You see sevens connected to that. The Israeli elections, Jerusalem is the capital, U.S. embassy in in, in Israel, uh, the U.S. Secretary of State, and, uh, and now the 2024 election. Uh, my list of sevens on Trump just keeps getting longer and longer. I think God is saying that through these unprecedented Trump sevens that the present dispensation is ending. Okay, the age of grace is about to come to an end. It's interesting, Trump stated that we are now entering, you know, at his acceptance speech, you know, after winning, he said, we're now entering a golden age. He used, he used the phrase golden age. Now, generally speaking, those golden years begin at, at age 65 and last until, well, at least 80 or longer. Okay. All right. On our timeline, 77 years, 
November 29, 1947, UN resolution to partition Palestine to November 29 this year, which is Hanukkah. That's what we kind of got our eyes on here. Not that we're not looking at the rapture being imminent any at any moment, any day. We, I just want to say, folks, I've I really enjoyed uh, you know following uh, w along with you all. Uh, through all of this. It's been just a great pleasure of mine to be able to just stand before you and share my views and particularly those concerning doctrine, uh, which I believe is uh, very important. Uh, we tend to sometimes be so excited about the Lord's return that we neglect our own uh, growing in grace and knowledge of Him, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I invite you to join us on Sunday as we continue in our studies through Galatians verse by verse. Until then, I love you all. I truly do. Rest in Him.